With lights dimmed and no workers in sight, this car factory in China uses hundreds of robots to churn out dozens of electric vehicles an hour, 24-7. This is a dark factory, an area of the plant so automated and with so little human presence that, in theory, the lights could be completely shut off. Factories like this one are part of China's bid to use hyper-automation to dominate the electric vehicle or EV market. But the furious trade war between Washington and Beijing raises a key question. Who is going to buy all these new cars? For decades, the abundance of cheap labor explained why China was seen as the world's factory floor. But the economy is changing. Rapid advancements in robotization has helped create what is now known as dark factories. This is Zika, a Chinese luxury EV maker founded in 2021, whose cars cost up to $125,000 a piece. In its flagship factory in northeastern China, the automaker can already produce up to 300,000 cars a year, or more than 800 cars a day. For comparison, Tesla has similar production levels, but it took more than a decade to achieve this volume. Some tasks still require a human touch, such as the meticulous assembly of the cables that run throughout the car. Workers also go into the factories to perform tasks like robot maintenance. In China, Zika is not an outlier in automation. According to the International Federation of Robotics, in 2023, every other industrial robot installed in the world happened in China. The country's levels of robotization have grown sevenfold since 2015, when President Xi Jinping introduced a Made in China 2025 initiative to transform its image from the world's factory into an innovative manufacturing powerhouse. Some American automakers believe China's widening EV lead, boosted by cheap state loans and subsidies, poses an existential threat to the industry. Unlike their Chinese rivals, companies like Ford and GM have scaled back ambitious EV expansion plans, hampered by high battery costs and the slow rollouts of EV chargers. Staffing costs and labor laws in the West are another disadvantage the US faces. But China's EV landscape is a crowded space, and fast robotization makes this competition even tighter. Chinese companies already turn out more EVs than all other car makers in the world combined. But Western concerns about Beijing's EV expansion have, so far, largely kept Chinese brands out of their markets. As a result, most of these cars are sold inside China, making overcapacity a huge issue for the industry.